Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's T. This is episode 153. Can you believe we've been around that long? Look, uh, what was it like when you were a child? When To wake up on Christmas morning and you, you had that list you sent to Santa Claus. And what if you could do that again today? We're going to talk about man things, manly things that people want to get from Santa Claus. We're going to find out about Fort Bay's trip to Nashville. You don't want to miss that. We're going to talk about Gary. We know that Gary had a lot of Thanksgivings. How many Christmas can he have and are they themed? We're going to find out shortly. But first of all, welcome to the patio. Yo! There he is, DW. How are you doing this evening? Welcome back to the patio. It's been a minute. Pretty good. It has been a minute. I've been hanging out down in Georgia. South Georgia. South Georgia. Mm-hmm. I thought you was in uh, the high Atlanta. Mm, no, nah, I'm close. But I'm more south. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know where I really am, do you? No, you don't. Hey, we, you probably, you. we probably don't Are, are we know. still talking about yeah. the state or the country? I mean, no, yeah, you're state. in Georgia country. You're in- Gary, Gary, how are you? Man, look at that. It's got like a flame effect on the over right there. And it doesn't look Gary. like that in real life. But wow. anyway, Gary, how are you doing? It's like a fire I'm, doing, I'm doing fine. I'm doing well. What are you wearing? A wetsuit? What are you wearing? No, <laughs> that, this is my copper fit. You, you know, for my elbows over here, bro. <laughs> you got that at the Goodwill? <laughs> no, I got this at the Walmart. It was on clearance for like $3. We just want to have a line over here. <laughs> it's Actually, I'm wearing something similar. It's good for hot ink. Marty Marr, how are you doing this evening? Excellent. I just wish I felt a little better. Like I'm getting a cold. You look good, though. That's what counts. You better not get oh, us all you. sick before thank Christmas. You. And there he is, the man, oh, the myth, the that legend, hat. Father Fortenberry. I don't see anything. How are you, Father I'm Fortenberry? Came on out. Even, look, even Hoggles came on out. I see a short. Straight out the blind. <laughs> Straight out the blind. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, I hear you had an adventure this past weekend. Man. Was you in Nash Vegas? Was you at the Beaver? The Beaver. I did see the Beaver. The Beaver. That's you an awesome did. place. Yeah, it did. Uh, <laughs> we did, isn't it? So, uh, no, we went for cheer. And, uh, man, the excitement happened. Uh, okay, what do you mean by that? Okay, so, like, what, we went down to, uh, <laughs> went over to. <laughs> he just means the excitement. Yeah, no, so, uh, it's four hour, it's four-hour drive over there. And um, we get there. We drop Maddie off downtown Nashville. Maddie being your oldest daughter for those yes. of you there that don't know who Yes, uh, we dropped her off at downtown Nashville. I just drop her off in the middle of the street. Dropped her off. I wish somebody would just drop me off down in the middle of the street. (laughs) Then um, me, Charlie, and Little Bit proceeded on to, uh, oh, uh, Murfreesboro, I guess, uh, for a thing with her uh, cousin. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. We get there. You know, they hadn't seen each other in a while, so we're (laughs) drinking a few beers. Esperanza Bananas? Yes, it's Esperanza. Yeah, that's the first time I met her. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So we're sitting there drinking a few beers and having a good time. She was the one that ate all the barbecue. Yeah, so Millie has to get up at 6 in the morning. No, I'm sorry. Millie has to be at Nashville dressed at 6 in the morning. Holy smoke. Yeah, so it means we had to leave. Millie being your uh, four-year? Six-year-old. Six-year-old. Well, you're way off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we no, had to- that's because she's mean to me. I'm taking some years <laughs> away from her. Just so, so we had know, to leave Millie. at 5 to get there uh, Saturday morning. So Charlie puts her in the bath. 10 o'clock at night, we're sitting at the table drinking. Charlie walks out to get Millie's bag and runs in the house and we forgot her damn bag. No, no, no. She said, you forgot her damn bag. Okay, so I was wondering about that. I saw the post on Facebook. <laughs> Ginger and I had a discussion over who got blamed first. No, We were trying to decide. Instantly, I got blamed Oh, you got blamed first. Instantly. Then Maddie? Nope. Maddie never got blamed. Nope, nope. It's okay. all me. It was, it was all, all me. All you. <laughs> because you're supposed to be the one I said, that gets the bag. I, guess, I, I said, I guess I'm getting in the car driving uh, back to West Memphis. And, and this is, everybody knows. What time is this? 10 o'clock at night. Did you have your cooler? And no. This, and this is a oh, four-hour drive, Oh, you right? forgot you your cooler. cooler Hold on. You were sober enough to have driven back? Yes. No. We had been oh, there. see, I assume the reason she drove back to get it is because you had already been a typical Jamie no, I faction. I think, I think. Partake. She volunteered to drive back because deep down she knew she screwed up. But she can't admit Does it. Does she listen to the show? No. So okay, she good. drove back, picked it up. And but I bet Whitney tells her. Yeah, Whitney no, I mean, of course. It was an instant all hell break loose moment. Mm-hmm. And I guess I'm just going back to West Memphis. And she jumps the car. And hold on, stop. Hold on, hold on. You left out a part here. 
when she says, I guess I'm going back to West Memphis, what is your response? I said, no, I'll go. Oh, okay. No, I volunteered. Yeah. And I said, no, well, let me drive with you. We'll swap up, whatever. I would have said, okay. And uh, she <laughs> no, you <laughs> Well, no, Whitney would have told you, Gary, you're going back and getting <laughs> precious. Yeah, she, what is she get your ass going? And, and yeah. I still would have said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just said, okay, either way, right? So, <laughs> look. Well, uh, she takes off and she's gone for 15, 20 minutes. And I call her and said, I respect it. Do you have your wallet? In case you need no gas? Way. No way. And she stops. She says, Yeah, I got my wallet. And she hung up again. She did. Well, meanwhile, Tracy <laughs> called Shelby. Mm-hmm. And asked that's Shelby, cousin. That's cousin. In West Memphis. Asked Shelby, Would you go to the house, get the bag, and meet him at Jackson? So thank God I worked out. Charlie pulled back and I didn't sleep at all because I laid there watching on Life 360. Travel. Oh, he's so he yeah. I know so how worried. that feels. Yeah, I was nervous. He I was, was really so nervous. nervous. That's such. A... And um, she made it back about two thirty. Got two hours of sleep. I, we... I'm just impressed that um, you tough. were sober and sober enough to have driven back on a Friday night in Nashville. Mm. I had had three. Um, oh, one zip and pippins. Um, IPAs. Yeah, they were IPAs. I care what they were, but I had three beers that all I had. Oh, That's it. Pippin, yeah. Ghost River. Wow. Uh, Ghost River. Maybe? It was Ghost River. Ghost River. Yeah. I know what it wasn't. Nighty night by Lost Forty Birds. It was. wasn't Nighty night. I got a story to talk about that. Oh, yeah, I ain't night. even done. I ain't even oh, you're not done. Jesus. Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, so we're still we talking get, about. We you. get the bag, and everything works out good. Millie has her first year experience, and she first of all, she's RBF, and those that don't know what RBF is, it's a rest and bitch face. And my, oh, we just got banned again. My youngest child sports like like it's a permanent. She does not. She is so cute. Mm-hmm. She does smile a lot. <laughs> But what she ain't. <laughs> but mine has it. So, my, my teenager has it. So like the girls so. blow it out of the park, but they Maddie's team wins the uh, grand championship. They won cash prize and all this. So uh we're going home. Charlie just got that little Kia. And all of y'all were in the Kia? All four, four of us, four yeah. Of and uh and our luggage, you know, wasn't too bad. So Charlie told her, well the teachers at work. She bought a chair in Nashville and Charlie's like, I'll be there, I'll go pick it up for you. Mm-hmm. We pull up. This thing's assembled already. I was in a box, <laughs> like a recliner. <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's I don't know a, about this part of the story. It's just a, a, a like a, um, a sit around table. Just they strap it on the a, top. Mm-hmm. No, I had to go in and buy uh, tools to take some of this part in the parking lot. <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> we just been through. Well, you were picking it up where at IKEA? Uh, Target. Target. So there's targets everywhere. Why did they? It's need the only it place from- you can find it. Only place you can find it. Oh, so dining it, room table. It, it was hold up. This wasn't no, no it's a like store ball. In, thing. It's not an end table. No, it's a t- dining room table. That deliver that mess, bro. <laughs> all, all I know is I thought you said a chair. I did too. Oh, I said table, table on the chair. Dining room chair. Dining room chair. Oh, okay. No, you said table <laughs> no, about okay. freaking out. Dining room chair. Yeah. <laughs> and so what she Charlie calls me. She said, "This stuff bitch just put together." I was like, "No, what I is she it said." One dining room, chair? one chair. Is she eating by herself. What's this woman doing? <laughs> she no. probably had a big man like know. me set it and broke it to a million pieces. She but what I do know is, I had to go eat it, buy a set of uh, Allens, mm-hmm. and take this bitch apart in the parking lot. Mm. Dude, you're committed, man. I had no choice. Is they had to leave it? <laughs> you would have left. It. Okay, there is a choice. <laughs> I'd like, hey, you're gonna have to call bitch. that woman. Let her know. <laughs> yeah. So, because so, if you don't pick it up, they return it to the shelf. I'd have said, Did man, you know we got that? there. They said they didn't I mean, have it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Have it. So, Why didn't you do like Griswold's and just strap that dude to the top of the car? That would have been so, so amazing. It was the last Alice at Allen's I found in the whole store. If I hadn't, if that's what we'd have done. <laughs> we'd have strapped that son bitch to the check. It had, had one of the kids sit on it to hold it down on the way home. That's only right. Oh man, it was uh so yeah, that was my weekend. Mm. So you did not over partake at all this weekend? Uh no, Saturday I got I got oh, turned. Okay. Now we know that that Saturday I got turned. Fortberry, that, that that's Fort Berry. Now uh, we know he's We went to the story. messy restaurant and uh, went to some <laughs> pictures, pictures of margaritas. So uh, yeah. Gary wasn't with us last week. He was celebrating Whitney's birthday. Uh but Gary says he has a story to share. Oh, it's a short story, but it's a fun one. Ooh. Oh, it's a, it, it literally take a few seconds. But yeah, I was at the Goodwill. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> I was at the well, like I normally am, and I was just walking. Is that the name of a bar? No, no, no. It's, it, it, it's where people <laughs> place their treasures for free. But yet, free? I buy them. I buy oh. them after they place them. They donate them. They do. They and donate they them. sell them. And okay. then, then I buy them. I don't buy clothes or anything like that. It's usually like DVDs and games and whatnot. And uh, I was walking out of the of the Goodwill, and all of a sudden I hear, Sir, sir, 
I was like, oh, this is after you've been in. The after Goodwill. I've been in the Goodwill and I'm walking out. I'm in. I'm in the parking lot. Did walking. you find anything to buy while you was in there? Yes, I did. I, I bought a couple things. I, I don't remember. I think a, a VHS tape. It wasn't a movie guy, was it? <laughs> <laughs> was it out of eight tracks? <laughs> no. It was, was it Team Wolf? No, or Team Wolf Two. No, Which one was it? It was. Uh, he, got, he got Smurfs the movie. It was. It he was got a couple it, floppy disks. <laughs> Ghostbusters one, two, and three. I do have. One. I do have both of those on VHS. Yes. <laughs> He got a what was it? He got Oregon Trails for the computer. No, no, actually, actually it was Return of the King cartoon and in the clamshell. So it was a Hobbit movie. Do you know? I know what you're what, I remember watching that as a kid. I just, that I was died, my first yeah. exposure. You used to always play this time of year. Yep. Well, I got it. <gasps> I'm actually now what is quite outside? excited. Yes, I, I have it. Hey, you got can we watch it at your you house and drink? Bourbon on Christmas Eve. We can do let's, whatever. Let's re- let's remake the uh, what's the mo- uh, movie three thousand where you watch the mo- TV, the cameras behind the people. Uh, Ma- uh, Masterpiece Theater. Yeah. Uh, Mystery Science. Mystery, Mystery Science. Science 3, 3, 000. Masterpiece had a bunch of dudes sitting around smoking cigars and <laughs> in velvet robes. <laughs> but we could pull that off too. <laughs> that, yeah, it's really close. that's close. Gary, right. please tell Maybe me what Maybe that's what we do said. Christmas Eve. <laughs> please tell me what he said. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> You know, I'm we, my man had already forgotten. I was oh, ready to move on to the next story. So, so let's look. Marty can't story. stand it. it Marty's <laughs> dying. I, I mean, I've cl- forgotten too. It's a yeah, me too. Cliffhanger. So uh, uh, I was walking out the. Was that the movie? No, it wasn't. No. Okay. Yeah, because we don't know the movie either. No, we? no. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll oh yeah, we Marty. did. He told us it was. Time out. So <laughs> Marty wants to hear the story. Lord of the Rings cartoon <laughs> version. So uh, I was walking out the Goodwill, and uh, as I was walking out uh, in the parking lot, uh, a lady in a truck. Was yelling, sir, sir. I said, I turned around and I looked and walked over. She said, Hey, um, I was gonna give this to the goodwill people, but uh, if you if you would like these three shirts and you would wear them, you can just have them. That's because you look poor as a mug walking out. <laughs> you look homeless. <laughs> you look homeless as a mug. <laughs> you look homeless. No, I know exactly. Now, hold on. <laughs> and I said, I know exactly. Hold on, what DW. What, what did he say? And I said, Oh, okay. I looked, <laughs> oh, he took that mess. I, I looked at him and I was like, "Okay." They I, were like polo or something. No, no they were that, they were like den- denim chevron name brand button up shirts. And I was like, that "Pearl Sniper." And, and I didn't realize what was occurring until I got to the <laughs> truck. And I was like, <laughs> "I think." What truck could. were you in? I was I was in a white Ford F one fifty. Okay, you were not in the green truck because no, she not. saw you in the green truck. No, look for those that can't get the full ensemble <laughs> over here. On a typical day, that was awesome. Gary lost a lot of weight. Uh, he's dressed up tonight. Though. Yeah, but he refused, actually looks sexy. He right. refused to buy clothes that fit him, <laughs> so he will buy. He wore clothes my size. I, I was wearing like a three XL pullover <laughs> at the time. I, I, it's when I looked in the mirror, I was like, "Oh, that gum." And I called Whitney. I was like, "Do I look like I'm hunting home?" She <laughs> yes, said, yes. Un- unhomed. <laughs> he, he's <laughs> unhomed. Well, he just said he don't buy clothes from there. But if somebody's so, gonna give him some in the parking lot, <laughs> he'll take them. <laughs> So hey, I, I got no shame. I'll buy clothes. So I, I appreciate the shirts, but I, I am going to donate them. I'm not going to keep them. What, what size like are they? Them. I have no clue. I think she wrote the tags out, but they're like. <laughs> How'd you know their name brand? Uh, the, the size was ripped out. Hold on. Chevron is not a name brand known in no, shirts. That, that's, a, that's, <laughs> a, that's a design. That's right? a design. Oh, okay. What are they? I, now I can, now well, they could have been like. gas station shirts. Chevron or, or Zig, I know what Chevron a, looks it's like. It's a zigzag thing, but I, I forget the name brand. They were name she, brand. I looked them up. She cut the tag out. Right? They're She's probably. Like, I don't want them to say no because they're not his size. They're probably her Comfort husband's uh, work shirt. They're probably like uh, fireproof. Do sell them as vintage? Do you sell a uh, denim I tell you shirt? What, if vintage? you model them as homeless wear, mm. people will buy that shit. But see, I feel I feel bad about it because I think she was trying to help she someone was, out. She was because you look. You no. look terrible. Come you look like you needed help. help. She was gone. <laughs> I like I needed help. Was she, you at your truck, or did she think you? No, was I was just. I just walked out. Oh yeah, she thought you was. She, th- she thought I was. Just... Oh, she straight up thought he needed look. like help big time. And Donnie can appreciate this. But this it reminds me of one of my favorite videos. This woman sitting on the street with a drink, a cup of coffee, and the guy walks by and puts five dollars in her uh, cup. And she said, "No, no, sir, I'm, I'm a teacher." He's oh, here's another five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's a good story, Gary. So it's a fun story. Anybody else got any fun stories? No, no, not no, really. I don't. Know. Not personal anecdotes, anyway. So it's Christmas time again, and Gary's going to be center of attention again here in a minute <laughs> because um, we're going to save that for a little bit later. Gary's going to share with us his Christmas plans. Mm-hmm. But before we do that, I think it's I want to I want to ask you guys: Do y'all remember what that youthful joy of Christmas was? What it was like. 
to want things, and 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 then Santa Claus would bring those things. Because as you become an adult, you quickly become more of the uh, one providing gifts. Now, look, I love gifts. Mm-hmm. Look, I buy gifts all year long, and luckily my memory's not good anymore since COVID, and I don't even remember what I bought, and Ginger will just put it under the tree, and it'll be a surprise for me each Christmas morning. But if we could go back, and you as an adult could pick anything, and we're not talking about world peace, or I don't want presents because I want my kids to have presents, what would be something that you would want? What would be one thing if you could ask for anything? I mean, it could be a Lambo. World War. Oh. <laughs> you said I can't do world peace. I, just, I want I want world chaos. Like what, <laughs> what would it be? What would that one thing be? I mean, so like, ask for anything? Anything. Can, you ask for anything. Like as an adult or as a kid? As I was a kid. Like Whatever right you like right now. Like right now, as an adult. Can it be real or fictional? It can be any. Okay. Let's stay away from money though. Everybody wants money. Let's stay away from money. Mm. It'd be a physical okay. and uh, option. A blank check. <laughs> That's not money. That's money. <laughs> hey, this is cash. Okay, it cannot okay, be uh, money based. Okay. You I think I would based. like a brand new top of the line Mastercraft e boat. Wake boat. So now I don't have pretty, to ask for a boat because I can ride more. Pretty expensive. You know? All right. So, yeah. yeah. No, you need a big one, though. It's pretty expensive. It needs to be yeah. pretty big. Like a 24 so foot. Yeah, yeah. carry everybody. Mm. Are you coming to me? Well, whoever. Whoever speaks uh, up first. What would it be? I mean, look. Our kids make lists like the world. Give me the earth. I want uh, earth. What, you know, what, I think I would. Thing? I think I want a swim spa. Of everything you could get. What is, what is no, that? You're, you're any, like, you're, no, like, if I want you're anything. You're Jonesing. No, if I want anything, like, I want, some, I want a cruise ship. Well, I'm let's gonna sell it. Let's talk like, about, want, but, but let's talk you about, you, you know, I think swim spa fits that category. Something that, like, you wouldn't necessarily buy yourself, but you're like, man, I really No, I'm like, trying to think of something crap. like that I personally swim, swim would like and appreciate. Like, that. You know, I like a hot tub. Dude, I, I like a hot tub. You can, you I like a, more a, like a 16 Because y'all know how to explain it. to me this. So you uh, can sit in a swim spa, right? It'll fit, oh, like, yeah. 20 people because they're big. Oh, yeah. But you can turn it on. I like to swim. I wouldn't be fat anymore. So I'd be in better if, shape. If Christmas You'd be sitting morning, in that thing drinking beer. I could swim, too. <laughs> well, you got to swim because the swim spot is pushing that wave. I put the beer. You, it'll the it'll slam me. But, but then you, mm. you like a I fish. Put the beer, though, so I had to like. swim and get a beer and then I could float back. You know, I thought this would be like an easy question. I, 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 I'd want a 16 it's foot fun. havoc. I'd want tandem, uh, tandem steel. See, though. you could duck hunt from Marty's Mastercraft okay. if he got the right one. On the ski boat? <laughs> oh, no, no. We ain't duck no, nothing. We got to duck hunt. You can put me on skis and drag behind you. I shoot ducks as I'm skiing. So of everything you could have, that's what you'd like. Huh? Yeah. Actually, I'd like a M249 machine gun. So there you go. Over there we go. Spa. And unlimited. Gary ammunition. Terry is. That'd be fun. Gary, Gary, what what what's on your list? That's not you. Gary. You said fictional. I'm gonna say time machine. Why? So you can go back. <laughs> I can go. I'll go you back. Can go and, back and look. You, you nice open this gate. You open this. Lot. You open this door. You know that. It's I should have thought more about my uh, limit. <laughs> okay, I mean, here's this man wants a, a machine gun, a bass boat, uh, or a fishing boat, a duck hunt uh, boat, okay. and a mastercraft boat. And this man wants time machine. We're Look, I would want a black hole. A Screw gun, it. I'll Marty. take a black hole. All right, I'll, I'll go real. We're I'll going real. back to in no, time said, with Gary. We're going to take over the world no, and our mastercraft so, machine gun. So I can go back and fix all the wrongs <laughs> and, 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 you know, make not make Whitney man. I, I'll go back and fix all those things I said. That butterfly effect would be huge, probably. It would be. <laughs> Time machine. Yeah. But, but okay, for something real, I'm going to say, because I'm a collector, I'll go, let me get a new a new uh, n- Nintendo that. NES stadium event still sealed. That's what I want. So you can sell it, or you just want it? I just want, like, want it. I it's want like it. the unicorn of video games. I would like to it's have It's like uh, the Pappy. It's like, like 23. It's like Eagle Rare. I would like to have a Michael Eagle Jordan's Eagle Rare. last game worn jersey. From See, now the, we're talking. From the this Bulls is, era. There, there we go. go. Now, now, this is what spark, we're talking you about. You sparked it like what I really want. Yeah. From the Bulls era, his last Because this is how kids think. The last right. game That's what I wanted right. to get into. Autograph, framed Man, up real boat. nice. Last game. Game no, but you can the one he sweated in. That's the one I'd want. This is your list. So Donnie's up to it. I thought you said an item. Can I ask for two things? You can for Kobe's list. Your kids can ask for a list. But I would give it to the museum because that's where it needs to be. All right, so let's recap. You wouldn't want a ticket with Kobe's last flight, though, would that's All right. wrong. Dude. What? All right, so let's put together DW's list here. He wants a swim spa. 
So we're writing a letter to Santa. If he I said, could, Dear I, Santa. I would buy Kobe a different helicopter flying, no joke. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that, but he said no monetary. Uh, uh, he was he was a good dude, man. But Gary can change that with a time machine. I can change it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hey, go. Gary Damn, takes Michael the Warren. time machine back and goes, Kobe, don't get on that plane. Man, we're rolling up in Marty's Mastercraft boat. He's got Kobe. We're like, get in. He's like, why y'all got an M249 machine gun? We're like, don't worry about it, Kobe. Get in. He's like, all right. <laughs> and we're going to take you to my swim spa player. But, yeah, he's and gonna, then Jamie's rolling say, up is, in his havoc. He's gonna say, "Is that is that Jordan's jersey?" And like, yeah, that, look, is look. that a still sealed NES? Blah blah blah. Yeah. I wonder. If we, I, oh, I don't know. Up. Would you rather have the Jordan jersey of the flu game? Maybe he had a little throw up on it. Ooh. So look, you know, there's a theory. He was I drunk. want. He was property. Over. He was hooping. All right. I want property. property. I want a beach house. I want a lake house. I want a house in the mountains. That's what I. I, I just want to go. I think stuff. land's living. Yeah. I do. I think land. I agree. I, I yeah, want land. Because That's if we got the land, we can do all this other stuff. Are we live on YouTube? Yeah, we're live. Okay. Ain't that. nobody watching, but yeah. we're live. Maybe we should all sell our houses and move away. Start but Donnie, Donnie caught, the, he caught the hint, though. That list started growing so like a six-year-old. Like like six like so, Fortinberry, what else besides a habit? There's got to be more things. You want a shotgun to go with your habit? I'd Santa Claus bringing you a shotgun. I'd take me a four-seater player. Or I guess it'd be a six feet technically, but yeah. Man, go for the can am. If you can get it, go for the can am. What Jamie dude. said, Gary, was he wanted to bring back Team Havoc, Marty? What <laughs> Marty, what is it? The can am defender, defender with the Pro Star or something on it? Y'all get in my DeLorean. We'll with go back the doors. to Team Havoc. <laughs> I'll just take a DeLorean. Defender take a DeLorean. So he got two time machines. He got a time machine and a DeLorean. I was going to say, he didn't say. He didn't and I, I guess I might as well get F-250. Gary, you must DeLorean. regret decisions you made in yeah, life because you want to go back and change some of those I need to change a bunch of things. I gotta make things right. <laughs> Gary wants Michael J. Fox. Everybody else is relatively <laughs> happy with their life. Hold on. He's like, I gotta fix it. Hold on. Do you want which Michael J. Fox do you want, Gary? You want the shaky kind or the non shaky kind? The non-shaky you want guy. the one that can make some hellacious martinis Mart- or you're the one to go back in time? I'm gonna take martinis. Mark- hold up. When did he make martinis? He said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't Terry. That went right what? over Terry's. You just say, brother. I'm gonna take Michael J. Fox to the future and we're gonna get him cured. Come the back. future be worse. Than take We're gonna go back. back to the future. <laughs> We're gonna go back to the future. I thought you said you're gonna take him to the future. It is. Uh, it is. Always mm, has been. I did not realize until like a few years ago that that entire <laughs> three movies took place in one night. The same night at different. I didn't either. It's all one night. Did it? Man. You just blew my mind. Oh, dude. So, but when I he said goes to watch the trilogy to the movies. future with them shoes that tighten up on them. That's not the same night. Hey, they yes, make, it is. It's, you know they make you, you go, You go watch. So, uh, would he, if you remember at the very end of the first one, it's, it's like a 24-hour period. So, you wait. You If you go look at the first one, he shows back up on his uh, steps with the girl sitting on the porch. Yeah. From there, oh, they yeah, move into the second. Uh, yeah, she wakes up. They move into the second movie. So, Gary, we get in your time machine. We go back to yesterday morning, and mm-hmm. we're, not vo- vo- we're not betting on Dallas. No, we will not bet on Dallas. <laughs> not, not, not betting on Dallas. They, they, they not them boys. They not them boys. They not them boys. We what an ass with that But, but look, I mean, when you really start, it kind of makes it remind you of that time being. Just a like child. if you had, if you had a time machine, though, you could go back and avoid the water leak at the polling station in Atlanta when they had to get all the ballots out of there. I think you're going to be sued, <laughs> like so. like Rudy Giuliani. He, he lost the yeah, for 148 million dollars, right. and they sued him again today because you he know won't what? shut they, up talking. They want 148 million dollars from me there out of the. I write him a check. Hey, <laughs> I write him a check. <laughs> Got to bounce so high. Tell Julia just. Uh, I would buy my. my um, so that's all we want is those things. Yes, that's, that's that, nothing else. Hmm. Yeah, you figure you can take care of everything with time machine. That's exactly right. I go Marty buy has, video has games a perfect one. life. He only needs a uh, Mastercraft Super 30 seater you know, boat. Hey, you know what we could do? Well, if we had a time machine, we could go back before peanuts existed. I think it was like penis. <laughs> <laughs> No, you got to go forward to do that. <laughs> At least we didn't all ask for the same thing. So yeah. I can borrow his time machine. and borrow my boat. That's right. <laughs> he borrowed the stuff. <laughs> he going to be like, Hey, Gary. hey man, let me get that time machine. Gary, let me get that time machine gotcha. this weekend. Are we going fish in that lake in here no more? CW, what's in that bottle? It's this odd looking crown bottle. Crown XO. Oh. Kisses and hugs. Can't hide money, King. Hey, let's, let's oh, it was, this is a story I was telling. So oh, up there. I must have missed that one. They had regular crown 32. Yeah. Crown black 38. Yeah. This 35. Where you I get? thought that was the like. It is. Super crown. So I bought it. 
Right. Dude, we might have to try that later. So let me let me ask y'all this. Mm-hmm. Superpowers. Any superpowers? What, what do you want? <gasps> I already uh, know. I, I have one that you guys would never guess the one I want. I'll go first. Okay, go first. So, <laughs> did he probably watched it. Did you ever watch Jessica Jones? No. You did? Jessica Jones. No. It was on Netflix. It was one of the, um, they were like. You want to be a bad actor? No. Well, no, <laughs> it was that good. Actor. But the, the, the evil character on there had a power that was awesome. He's a normal looking dude. If he told you to do something, you had to do it. You couldn't say no. So he basically would control oh, yeah. your every, like, give me your money, oh. this, that, the other. That would be the most amazing superpower. It was like that, uh, the girl from uh, Umbrella Academy. She yeah. could whisper heard, in your I, ear. I heard a rumor. Yeah. yeah, I heard a rumor. That's what yeah, that, that, is. that would be a powerful, powerful. You know what I think? Well, the, you remember the TV show, uh, Heroes? Mm hmm. All right. Stopping time? Nope. Oh. The guy, uh, the bad guy who who could take the power from anybody. Oh. Mm. But what if nobody else sort, has powers? Sort of like a mystique for powers. But so, look, if you had that power, but nobody else had powers, then that's a wasted power. Yeah, because no one else probably got powers in the normal world, James. James oh, no, you I just wasted well, your just, power. I just, I just didn't take his power sitting here. <laughs> well, like, he could take, like... Yeah, Elon, but now that's like the only Elon power Musk you got. You basically got my power. power. He's so, got a theoretical power, yeah. Jamie. But, but like he so could, your he power could... was everything. He just took it from you. <laughs> yeah, but now there's no more powers for him to take. But that's fine. I mean, until but he's Gary's, got everything. Until Gary says he is. <laughs> but like this dude can stack powers. <laughs> stacking them. Yeah, in a world where there's powers. I mean, well, dang. clearly it's no stack. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck if your superpower was taking other people's powers and nobody else had powers. <laughs> hey, I'm on. I'm declaring right now. I have a power. I can take other people's powers. <laughs> <laughs> At the bare minimum, you equal the playing field. Yeah. <laughs> Worst case scenario, nobody Look, here has anything. That was a great one. Stopping time was a good one too, though. I it, it was. That was a really mm-hmm. good. One. All right, Gary. Gary, you're the you, you because I doubt Marty has ever seen superpowers. Yeah, no. But Gary, what so, would you steal? It. I don't need no power. I, mine would be invisibility. Time machine. He would go back and take invisibility. <laughs> invisibility. Really? really? Tell me why. Time. Why invisibility? I, I could do whatever I want. No one can see me. I, People I mean, don't see you now. You're like I know. Visible. No, that that lady at Goodwill saw me. <laughs> he's he's in the, he just wants to change question. that one moment. But I, I could do I could do whatever, and I could go to the beach, be naked, no one knows. I'd be invisible. But they already have new beaches. There's new beaches. Why yeah, but if you're care? invisible, are you really naked? Uh, I think you can be. Yes. Maybe if you're invisible, but you're on sense. But but what if like sang is on you? But if you're you if you're invisible, you, you would have sandy. That you're saying it'd, you'd you'd just, it'd be like a butt walk about. I may no. He, 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 there'd be two footprints and a line in the middle. <laughs> would it be a separate power <laughs> if I was invisible? But I I could be invisible with my clothes on. Can I make my clothes invisible too? So anything that touches you. Oh, so now you invisible? want multiple powers? Then there'd be holes. Okay. In the, there'd okay. Be holes in the ground <laughs> multiple powers. He won't. He got. He are, now you've taken ability. now Jamie you've taken my power. I have my gears about this. And you t- so you can be invisible and tell people what to do. But you gotta yep. be naked. All right, Don, Donnie, Donnie, Donnie what is there a power you would like to have that you would take mm. to take Jamie's powers? Probably just well, be like Captain America. Kinda. I was gonna like, say invincibility, but invincibility sucks if you're overage and fat. <laughs> it didn't for like, Thor. Then Thor got you back in shape, right? Yeah, thought, yeah. yeah. And he had those goats for rounds. Mm. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something that would be useful to more than just me. What um, I do know, if my ability was fly, I would want it to not be with wings. I don't want it to be too nah, light. You, you can just fly like Superman. Fly. Dad, yeah. gum it. Come, he wanted, well, you still can, Mark. You can Jamie still didn't fly. take it. Jamie will take it from you. <laughs> So did you have it? I can fly. Because look, he out. already stole your superpower and didn't even realize. He didn't even realize it. <laughs> hey, Mark. You're good at this, Jamie. Your power is real. I win. <laughs> you Man, win. can you imagine duck hunting if you could fly? All right, so Jamie, so here we there. go. So he stole fly. You can be Marty bringing just on fly. M- Marty, you're still fly. Marty, so, you could give God a hey. duck hunt. So you could bring the ducks in while yeah. you're blowing your duck. Can't off. you see it, though? He, like, to the duck hole. He's in his Mastercraft ski boat, <laughs> and he can fly, and he slams the he boat and he flies out and grabs the ducks in yeah. midair. All right, this is a really weird one. I think there would be a really cool element to be able to go like in the water and not have to breathe. And Aquaman also stuff? be able Look, to go. He's like going to pick the the lamest superhero, <laughs> like as deep as you wanted to go without any. Do you want to? Do you want to talk to fish too? No, he wanted to save those no, people. The aliens that are died. down there, bro. Yeah, he, he can, can find people. sunken treasures. He could have saved those. People. Hey, but you know what? Guess what happens now? I can go. I can go underwater. <laughs> 
I drag you down there. <laughs> you wouldn't have to. So, I go hold down. so basically, you can get anybody to do anything. You can be invisible, fly, and go underwater. I'll, I'll, my superpower wins. You, well, a lot of superheroes <laughs> have more than one. You're like power. Superman. I'm glad he didn't steal it while no, he's flying. better than Superman. <laughs> I just fell out of sky. <laughs> I think if I could do anything, I would want to be able to move things around me with my mind. Like telekinesis type stuff. Like, uh, if I had to pick who's that? one. It was a Marvel guy that could do that. Right? Uh, telekinesis? It's, it's, you got uh, Professor X. X. Professor X. X. That was you it. had Jean hey, Grey. But y'all know what I can do now? No, you can move around <laughs> You can do what? Boost up with my mind. He sure can. The only the, the <laughs> only superpower that could that could uh, thwart my uh, my powers is there was some. I want to be able to take superpowers from the guy that can take my. There was some Marvel girl who, uh, if you was red hair, your superpowers were null and void. That was her power. Just was that the Red Witch? Maybe so she just made everybody yeah. else weak sauce. Now yeah. he wants to overpower Jamie. <laughs> That's his only superpower he wants. So if, if you was so underwater way Santa, down deep and then she went around you Dear drowned. Santa, can she you please bring us fishing. superpowers? Yes. We, we want superpowers. I mean, I'll take any of them. Look, if J- look Gary's going look, back in time and is invisible. If I had, yeah, That's pretty cool. Yep. I look, can think look, but if he went back in time and invisible, would he really go back in time? Yeah, he could like monitor yeah, I wouldn't. If I had the superpower to swim underwater and I was just having a swim somewhere and Marty took the girl that could take the powers on his boat, and they drove by me, I'd lose my powers, I'd die. <laughs> but, but would, if That's you had true, to drown. Here's what would suck. Would suck. <laughs> if you had the power to swim underwater without breathing, but you swim like you do now. I mean, you just... I'm having kind of lame. I swim pretty good, but <laughs> no. I still be kind of lame. Yeah. <laughs> It'd take like hours no, you, to get You some... need more than one, right? That's why I'm saying I'd like to move stuff, be able to move anything with my, mm. you know, just thinking about it. Gary has the power to appear homeless. Yes, I'm pretty good at that. So, Gary, Gary, we got to get back to you. You seem to dominate our discussion sometimes, but it's Christmas season. We know you had all of these themed Thanksgiving activities. What is on the horizon for the Scoff family, well, extended family, the, for Christmas? We will be having a casino night. Yay! That's the first thing I think of when I think of Christmas. Yes, I do, Me too. too. Yes. It's, it's going to be fun. That basically uh, means Aunt Buck is going to set a table up, and then she's going to take all y'all's money. Well, are y'all going to the casino and have crab legs that night? No, no. We, we will not. Dude, if y'all don't do crab legs at the house on that night. Oh, you're right. That's all casino. That, or that, prime rib. Or prime rib. That's what I I don't think that's kind of like, happening. Like, with way too much fat. <laughs> you don't think it's happening? No, no. I think we're going to be a poor man casino. I'm going to show up dressed like John Daly. We're, and this is at your house? Yeah, we may have some of that yellow spaghetti and the blue spaghetti. You got to pick the colors like the casino. And like that. I like the movie uh, Vegas Vacation. Yes, that's probably, probably oh. what we're going to be doing. But, yeah, I, I mean. I'll be, I can come as Cousin Eddie if you'd like. You could. and That'd be awesome. I can come as Cousin Eddie. When we pull the camper right. over in the front yard. <laughs> Shitter's full. <laughs> Marty, Marty pull the camper over there. Hey, why don't you change it? She thinks it's casino night, and it's going to be vacation. Christmas vacation thing. Oh, Vegas man. vacation. Vegas. No, Christmas vacation. Vegas vacation. Both. Casino. Both. 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 That'd be Both. Awesome. Both. But I, I was I just got a text message today that sort of upset me. Uh oh. So the uh so for the for the casino night, the kids don't have to buy in. What? Yeah. Oh, you, it, oh there's real money involved? Yeah. Yes, sir. What do you mean the kids don't have to buy? Yeah, in? that's what I'm talking about. So they can just play unlimited. Okay, but who they, ranks as children in this situation? Emma's one of them. She's a dog. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Gotta no. Gotta Emma got to pay. Yeah. 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 And Emma, Emma can play cars, too. She can play yes, cars. Yeah, she can, she can play cars. But no, she ain't got to pay. Hey, I, I identify as a 12 year old. Can I come play for free? No. I would like to play we, we poker. That'd be fun. We ain't doing I, that I figure we'd be doing dice in the corner, maybe throw quarters on the Sam wall. Like, Sam's That's a kid. Sam likes to throw dice. I like throwing dice. I mean, yeah, technically, I guess if he shows up, he wouldn't have to pay. You could be making money. We send you take all our kids. You can increase your <laughs> yeah, odds. Mac would probably like dominate y'all. He would probably get counting cards and stuff. He'd be like, "Hit me!" But yeah, Hit me. Andy's gonna mm. show up dressed like a kid. I'm hoping we have a real roulette wheel. It may happen. I may just make one. I have a magnet or two. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, kids, <laughs> test your luck. You can probably find. So, one. what night is this occurring? I don't remember. It's probably like Saturday or Friday night. I don't know. Oh. Because, you know, when I, I think, think I'm free. When that. I think of the birth of our Lord and Savior, I think gambling. Now, Gary of the Castle I'm going to tell you, Christmas Eve used to, when I, before I become married, used to include a trip to casino. One of the, probably my last trip was Bud Dog, who was here that night, and JP, who will probably be, I only see him once a year, but JP, we go to the uh, Grand Casino. 
Buddy threw in a hundred dollar bill into a twenty five dollar slot machine, hit for twelve thousand five hundred cash, <laughs> and said, "I'll take it in big bills." And he handed me a stack, JP a stack, and we walked out of there with twelve five. We go over to the horseshoe. He gave us five hundred or a thousand a piece. Did y'all go play? We come back and I'm he's playing just... two thousand dollar hand blackjack. Done got it up to twenty thousand dollars. Then we decided he he decided for some reason that. Putting hundred dollar bills in a hundred dollar slot machine was a great idea, and he lost about six thousand of it <laughs> about that quick. Ooh. And I was sitting, my stomach was hurting. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" And we left out of there with that twelve five. But it was a fun, fun. fun I would have taken that that stack he gave me and put it in my pocket. Oh, I did. <laughs> yeah. I told JP he bought us a buffet too. No, I, I said, do. "I said JP, uh, uh, this is my Christmas present, right? <laughs> we roll it up out of here." I think JP made that in a month back this then. Must so. been, this must have been Cadillac, but dog. Uh, Oh, it was. It was. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I wasn't there. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, Gary, you better tell you, uh, who was like it? Was I can't remember. Like... Somebody we was hanging out with, uh, I can't remember his name. We were shooting craps. <laughs> and I never, I Jason. never. Jason. Jason. was Jason. Yeah, I never touched the dice. I mean, he was betting. I never touched the dice. You I took his out. entire paycheck. And, t- <laughs> and Jay, look, he felt bad. He felt then, bad. I, this is the time, look, I was probably making $12 an hour. when This dude was a grown man with a wife and kids. He was mad too, wasn't he? He wasn't happy, and I said, no, dude, I can't. He said, nope, I'm a man of my word. Yep. He was, and we were so, in the kitchen. He, yep. was, wow. he was throwing dice in the kitchen. But dogs also, dice. the first person ever teach me how to play craps at casino. And we go down there, and I had $40. He turned it into 700 by like that. And, man, now craps. It seems so complicated, but it's really not. No. There are no. There is a lot going on on that oh, table. but We do need to uh, celebrate our 150th. Oh, we do, yeah. yeah. And we've been talking for a while. Hey, we're, we're not we're even doing... gonna get into the news tonight. Yeah, while we're doing this, let's talk about the debates in the football or the sports debates. We still had a good time. Let's talk about pappies. <laughs> <laughs> while we're breaking out the pappies, oh, we can we break out the pappies. Look at that. Mm. Mm. You mm. want to talk about the Texans? Mm. JJ uh, Watt trolls the Titans after Texan fans were Ooh, furious. We Tennessee yeah. wore Houston yeah. Oilers uniform. I'd rather talk about pappies. But um, well, what are we gonna talk how about? How much is left? Speaking about Pappy's, I know a gentleman that owns a ton of that stuff, and he did approve us to come to his house for an interview, Jamie. He did. He did. He said, get with him. All right. Cool. Uh, yep. What is so, so what y'all thoughts on what Gary or what team was talking about? Y'all, did y'all hear it? What? The what? What so, did talk about? J.J. Watt is a Texas or Houston Texans are bitching. Yeah. Because Tennessee Titans wore throwback jerseys from the Oilers. So. Yeah. Why? I mean, because they, they, they were the Houston Oilers. That's why. The, yeah, but that, they that's still the franchise. That's yeah, still Tennessee. Is that, that's still the franchise. The, the franchise moved. Yes, but that's not your franchise. That's not your. That was never your logo. But it sort of backfired on them. So. Well, yeah, but I mean, the win and loss didn't matter. So there's yeah, another similar scenario brewing right now in the NFL. You have Joe Flacco. Yeah, but no. this is so Joe Flacco. The, so the Ravens left. Cleveland overnight years yes. ago, become the Baltimore Ravens, and Joe Flacco led them to a Super Bowl. Go oh, did, and oh. now Joe Flacco has come back to the original Browns, and I got to tell you, boys, he doesn't look bad. And that team he's has a got good, some he's talent. always been a good quarterback. Oh, he's like better today than he has been. I don't know who he's been working out with. Maybe he got with Tom Brady's mm-hmm. doctor or wife or something. But that dude <laughs> played just, at a high level. He's still like ten years younger than Tom Brady. He's like 30, yeah. He's like thirty six. Is like he that. really? He, he's not that old. He's not as old as Tom Brady. Well, they was. need to go on and let old uh, Deshaun go. Oh, Deshaun's the worst hey, uh, uh, pickup ever. Another another big uh, topic or discussion was: uh, Did y'all see the one in basketball, in the NBA? Oh, that smells. Something so occurred good. in basketball. Which one? Yes. Was it Giannis? That, uh, Giannis said, scored oh, sixty four yeah. points. Said a franchise record and then, a personal record. Then. Um, a manager got the ball, but he didn't know that. He thought that the other team he, took off with the ball. Yeah, but a player for the other knew, team. He knew that, miss. Uh, they no, were taking that ball to. to it it should have went to the rookie. Like that. It should have went to no. It should. There was a rookie on the other team who scored his first points ever. Oh. What do you mean? Yeah. I don't know. Nah, Giannis. I don't know. I what? No, dude. The rookie deserves it. Hold on. Is, is a where first, were where is, were they? Is the first? Who stadium I don't where? care where they were. No, that's the NBA playing. tradition that the rookie when he scores the first points gets the game. Who's home where they playing? At? It's not a touchdown. This ain't football. Dude, well, you wouldn't want the ball for the first points you ever scored in the NBA. I tell you this. No, I really don't. You would. No, Michael I Jordan. Would. I would. Michael Jordan would have spit in his face and said, "Screw you, rookie." It's the NBA. They all do it. Every one of them has their first ball. You uh, know the difference, the though, in, in Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan wanted to ask for the 60-point ball. He wouldn't have cared. He's a killer. <laughs> he's a, like, so here's the thing. Right. 
Can Giannis get uh, another uh, another franchise record? I don't know, but if Giannis buys me uh, another one of these pappies, <laughs> I'd probably give my ball with my signature on it. What was it, Kobe's last that, game where he hit the 60 and the dude threw the ball? You didn't see Kobe whining about the ball. Because no. it didn't matter. Oh, this smells so good. So this is celebrating episode so, 150. Yeah, because half of y'all stood us up last week, but um, episode <laughs> 150, we hit it. Look at Milestone. Not only that, we've been on YouTube ever yeah, since, dude. what, January? We thought it'd take longer to get there. We've been live a few times. We've been banned, all this stuff. Look, yeah. and guys, we're making inroads with some more local uh, YouTube channels, especially in the bourbon community. So, look, uh, I want to give a shout-out to Major Zero. He's um, a supporter of ours. He actually calls us out every time we're in some of the same circles. There's a guy in Little Rock, uh, Verb, Whiskey Rent, Whiskey Wisdom, Whiskey. all those Whiskey guys. Wisdom. Look, there's a whole community we're trying to tap into, and we're going to get that Bourbon Roadshow rolling if Jamie will ever record another liquor store in Central Arkansas. <laughs> but um, here we go. Let's drink some pappies. Cheers. All right. Cheers. You want to cheers? Yeah, 150. I'm taking it slowly. Okay, this is the third time I think we've drank this. Fourth. I taste the antique. It's still fabulous. Oh, it's awesome. Isn't it? 107 and 12 is what they say. Yeah. Did you go get some 107 today at court? <laughs> you did, didn't you? That's good, man. No, I didn't. Oh. Don't be tatering you know, over there. This stuff's still really good. Oh, yeah. it's fantastic. It's really good. Look at the legs on them, baby. Mm. Yes. What's it sound like though? Fort Mary likes to hear it. What's it sound, sound like though? It's not like Steve Bob. What's oh, that? Bourbon Hall is another one, Marty. What is it? Bourbon Hall. Yeah. Bourbon Hall. Was now he's in too. uh Nebraska. It said, it said, uh, Marty swapped me out there on baseball. <laughs> oh, Bourbon Hall. He's in Nebraska. Hey, last yeah. night, uh, Major Zero said something about it. he meant to say something to us about Florida. About the Gators. Yeah. About yeah. The Gators. Yeah. Zero. Mm. Well, look, you talked to Major Zero and didn't even tell him you were with life in the patio. So I'm. We're hurt. Yeah, we're hurt. Thank you, Gary. But hurt. Sharing that with me. But hurt. So, Major Zero, yeah, uh, the Gators. We love the Gators. That's the only football team we actually dominated uh, this year. Uh, so, well, yeah. by dominate, you mean we... Uh, you, you, you won, won it a little bit? No. Domination. Domination. Just call it what... I like to call it what it is. Domination. But um, Man, we will do KJ's a little more bourbon really stuff. Yeah. Um, l- you know what? Let's play this out of here. We've been on for a while. This is a good episode. Yeah, solid. Um... Nice Who's first? Happy. There we go. Father Fortenberry sipping on that Pappy's Ooh. over at Van Wink. Uh, thank y'all for watching. On my own DW. Hey, glad to be back. Glad change to be back. Me, change Merry Christmas. Gary. My final we actually them boys. We them boys. Oh, 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 Marty are you them boys? We them patio boys. That's right, son. <laughs> hey, guys. Like us, love us. Tell everybody about us. Um, we like to have a good time. Like drink bourbon. You never know you might run into us around Mempho, Tennessee. These hats, Duck Dog Mafia. Uh, check them out. We're going to get them on his website. He'll sell them for us. Outlaw.